This is the most overlooked aspect of filmmaking that will take any production of yours to the next level. A lot of filmmakers spend a lot of time worrying about lighting diagrams and camera setups, but when was the last time somebody has spoken to you about set design? I'm Angelica, I'm a creator at Artlist.io, and today I'm going to walk you through the set design of our latest production to make sure you can learn and make yours even better. So what is set design and why is it important? The thing is that your characters need a world in which they live, breathe, move around, and create a story. It is the walls in which they live, props that they interact with, it is the reality of their world, and it really needs to reflect the tonality of the project you're creating. The thing is that it doesn't always need to be pretty or look appealing and fit into your Instagram profile. It just needs to be believable. It needs to make your actors really feel like they know who they are inside of this world that you built for them. With this production, or productions I should say, we were aiming to create new footage for the Artlist catalog, capturing everyday moments in beautiful slow motion and make them really vibrant and cinematic. To do this, we would use A, a phantom high-speed camera, and B, a probe lens that would allow us to get super close up. Since the shots will be captured at 1000 frames per second, almost freeze-framing the environment, creating a standout shot was crucial. Once we realized we need a lot of light for both of these productions, we decided to combine them and build sets that would really support our efforts with the light, the fog, and other elements that we just normally wouldn't fit into a normal house. So it just made perfect sense to produce them together. So with our Phantom production, we wanted to create something that will break the norm completely and has a bit of a fun element to it, but it looks really fun to use in your social media or music-related projects. And this is where the set design comes into play. We built two sets so we could also film two different units and then swap them and really make our shoot day as efficient as possible. When compiling references for the sets, we didn't only want them to feel authentic and homely and cozy for our characters, we also wanted them to feel like they're in a dreamlike state. When I think about dreamlike, I think about pastel colors. I think everybody kind of has a reaction to these colors because they're soothing, they're quiet, they're photogenic, and so we wanted to make sure that they really match the overall brighter appearance of the props because we had a very bright orange juice, cocktails, and also we added some fog and some haze just to soften the frames, make them feel a bit more nostalgic and add that cinematic kind of photography inspired feel. Depending on the style of your project, I'd really recommend making sure your space feels lived in. We built the kitchen the same day, and so it was very important for us to add some elements to make it feel a bit rustic, to make it feel imperfect, and for the glass to not be completely see-through and to add some smudges here and there. Overall, just adding that human kind of touch. Even if you're not building a set from scratch and are going on location, I'd recommend making sure it has those imperfect human elements that make it feel lived in. Upon looking at the production, we really understood the importance of checking your props ahead of time. While brainstorming the shots for our production, we also thought of using food. So the first example was a toaster, because naturally we thought the probe lens will go exactly in between the pieces of the bread, which it did. It's hard to coordinate with a toaster. It just sort of doesn't listen to you and just pops whenever it's ready. Some of the bread pieces are a bit burnt, but it's actually creating a fun little clip where he can emphasize a day that just started with a small disaster. So that's fun to use. Some of the props that we used on set required prep in advance. We ordered sugar glass bottles and glasses that can break easily and on demand and that are very safe and cause no hazard or harm. For the soda scene, we built a custom cup that is more narrow and longer than the normal one to make sure that the probe lens really gets that action, really gets all of that movement and it feels longer than in real life. The bottom of it is see-through, so we used plastic for it. And we put a light underneath it, which allowed us to light up the fake ice cubes that we had. The whole thing is built from scratch, but it looks super realistic when shot with a probe lens. 
The thing is, when you're on set and you're looking at playback, everything looks beautiful in slow motion. You're breaking the vases, your flowers are flying around, something is shattering. But actually, in post, you kind of wish you added more. On your production, I really recommend that you go above and beyond with adding those elements to fill the frame, because in post, you'll really notice a big difference. All the footage you've seen today is live on artless.io, so make sure to browse, download, and have fun with it on your next project. All right, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new to use for your next productions. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more behind-the-scenes tips and tricks.